the show now. While we were set to have that big conversation around, you know, preventing fire disasters with the Lagos Fire Department, well, there's been an impromptu development uh, for the fire department. So we're going to be having that conversation, uh, of course, uh, in the coming days. But not to worry, it's the fire department. You understand these things happen. So we shift our attention to yet another important issue. You know, all that talk on social media about where Ghana cook, jollof, puts Cameroon pepe, puts antelope, whatever, and then down it with some banana, two bananas, so that's banana, banana, whatever. All that talk we've been having got our appetites wet, and we, talk, we thought, let's talk about eating healthy, okay? How to eat healthy, whether you are in a budget or otherwise, because your health depends on it, your longevity depends on it. And this morning, that is what we're doing, how to eat healthy, and we have an expert with us in the studio this morning, ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Adirun Kelushe. She's a nutrition and health coach, FD Naturals. Good morning, welcome to the morning brew. Good morning, thanks for having me. I'm tempted to ask you if you watched the match yesterday. Ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> you were focused on staying healthy. <laughs> okay, I think during the match I was actually hosting um, a session on Instagram, so right. I do that every Wednesday. Oh, so I really didn't have the time to watch the match. It's okay, I mean, it's for the good. We watched the match and you focused on the healthy part. I heard a lot of people were having BP issues. I exactly. Said, okay, nice. So that talk again is why we're having in this conversation because what you eat um, is very important yeah uh, there's this adage uh, where I'm from that it's what the bird eats that the like bird fly. literally flies with, with. Yeah. so uh, let's begin with that whole conversation around eating healthy some see it as what is fashionable now so mm. a lot of people just have their jug yeah. with the smoothie and it's quite fashionable mm. it shows that you're living the life but why do we need to really eat healthy I think it's something we say a lot but I'm not sure we really understand the import of it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people really don't understand the importance of eating healthy. Or, let's say, um, people just eat. Um, when we talk about nutrition, people don't understand that nutrition is a process. Mm -hmm. They think it's just about, let me just eat to get by. But we actually don't eat to live. We live Sorry, we don't live to eat, we eat to live. Mm. Do you understand? Two different things. So when I say nutrition is a process, what do I mean? Nutrition is a process of consumption, absorption, and usage of body nutrients by the body. For what? Growth, maintenance, and development. But we find out a lot of us just eat to consume and get by. Right? We are not bothered about what the body is absorbing, we're not bothered about, you know, the maintenance of life and the development of the body. So we see a lot of people are growing, but growing in what? Mm. So I can be growing, um, sorry, and this is not to body shame anybody. I can look big on the outside, but what is going on on my inside? Um, it may look like I'm developing, you know, I'm eating my milestones, but what is going on on my inside? Maintenance of life is not just about the physical appearance. It's more about what is on the inside. You know, just like you rightly said, it is what you eat, what the bed eats that the bed would use to fly. So it is important that we look into what we are eating, right? And when we look at nutrition, nutrition is um, classified into two major categories. We have macronutrients and we have the micronutrients. Okay. So what has happened is that we have focused as a people, we focus on the micronutrients and we leave out the macronutrients. So when I say macronutrients, let me bring it out home. Thank you, Carbohydrate, protein, fats, and oil. So we find out a lot of people are taking out carbs from their diet or from their nutrition. They're taking out fats from their nutrition. We overconsume protein as people in Africa with I mean the average man would go to a restaurant want to eat food it is one small um, muscle of a bar right the vegetable soup is very small but then it has you know a full bowl of all sorts of sorts and rest <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have a full bowl of protein so we over consume protein as a people mm. and then you know, people are like, oh, carbs are the problem, fat are the problem. But the truth of the matter is we all will not be sitting here today if we do not have carbs that our bodies are using. So I tell people the question, the problem is not with the carbs. The question you should be asking yourself is what kinds 
of carbs are we eating? I forgot to mention earlier that one of the micronutrients that, you know, that we don't even put emphasis on is what we call dietary fiber. And you get fiber from your foods. So the problem is that we eat a lot of empty carbohydrates, right? We stripped, I mean, everybody's scared of, you know, being big, you don't want to be big, you don't want. So we skip the fats and oils, but that is not a problem. What kinds of fats are you consuming? Because your brain is made up of 60% fat. So your brain cannot even process anything without fat. Your body runs on what we call glucose, that is energy. So without carbs, we cannot function, we can't think, we can't go about our daily activities. So the focus needs to shift from just consuming yeah. to what are we consuming. Mm. Yeah. So I, I'm just wondering, um, I try to bring it to some level of a frame of reference. Yes. So that it will be meaningful to mm. every strata of the economy, mm. which is what the show is, is, is really all about. Yeah. So I'm going to give you some categories of earners. Okay. Uh, because when you look at the prices of things now, including the, these are, okay, what do they call like Baluma in English? Cherry. Mm. <laughs> it almost Just leave it as a candle. <laughs> yeah. I love the way it's I think <laughs> calling it cherry compromises the quality of quality. taste Thank in my Thank you very much. <laughs> Baluma. Okay. Okay, let's, let's leave. So, Let's look, let's look at the strata um, because of how things are in terms of inflation. Yes. Because you're big on eating healthy. Yes. The man who is on a minimum wage. Yes. How can he eat healthy? 30,000. Just hold on. Mm. The man who is on 50K. Mm. The man who is on 100,000. Yeah. 200. Yeah. I have another category, 350. And then 500 and above. I've and given Jeffrey you... Jeffrey and Bukola. <laughs> <laughs> so I've given you... Six I'm categories, <laughs> but maybe we'll stay within the 30, 50,000 naira category yeah. uh, for, for the people who earn this, whether they go to work or they're self-employed. Yes. How can they eat healthy without necessarily, you know, breaking the bank? All right. So um, I have a saying. I say that healthy living is for everybody, not just for those who are buoyant, not just for the rich, not just for the affluent. Affluent, right? So now... I am not earning so much. And I say this from a place of personal experience. I didn't used to be like this. In fact, when I started this journey, I was in debt, running into several millions of naira. Now you're loaning money. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, so I can relate with what you're saying. What did I do? First, I look at my immediate surroundings, right? So for instance, I am on a budget or I'm a low income earner. I don't need to go for the likes of strawberries, the blueberries. I don't need to go for that, you know, pomegranates. I don't need to do that. I come home. What do I have in my local market? Right? What do I have in my local market that I can easily buy? You know, up until the inflation era, I mean, you could get fruits for a hundred naira, fifty naira. So it is not, if you cannot afford to buy the big ones, get the ones that are very close to you. Two, is that practically all of us, at least, let me, I'm going to use Nigeria as, you know, my case study or Lagos State. A lot of us, we have vegetables around us. So let's even say I cannot afford to buy fruits. What about the vegetables around us, right? I could pluck vegetables from, um, from my surroundings right? I could pluck, I could boil the vegetables, yeah. right? Even if, it may not even be the ones that we used to cook vegetable soup. So for instance, some of us, you probably go on the street, you find out that there is a building beside you, there is guava, maybe they have a guava tree. I may not be able to afford to buy guavas, but that is a free tree right beside me. I could walk up to the person in the next compound who doesn't, probably doesn't even know the benefits of the tree that in is the compound, compound is that's not a fence. lot of no, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not just saying if. So for some of us, we have them on yeah, our road. Yeah, we see sad. these things on the road. So sometimes we need to get into that consciousness because that was exactly what happened to me, right? Until I started seeing that, come, I have these things around me, like they're just there. Sometimes they even grow as weeds. Mm. We cut them away and, you know, they throw them away. Why can't I pluck them? Mm. I just boil them as tea if I cannot afford to buy fruit. At least I can start from somewhere. I boil them as tea and I take it for the day. If that is the only thing I've done for that day, I have done my body a lot of good. And then I follow the rest up with food. 
You know, earlier on when you were talking about avoiding carbohydrates because of the fear of being big, I thought to myself, oh, she's talking to ladies. <laughs> and they're going to be very interested in this part of the conversation. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, you're looking trim, by the way. Thank I, you. Thank you. It, not, not you, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm, thank you. <laughs> so, I, I can't remember the last time I, I was um, on a regular diet of bread because I've been told at the gym avoid bread because of the tummy fat mm. so if is this a myth if it's a myth tell us about all the other myths about carbohydrates and what ladies should be doing to reduce the weight of the belly fat you know beneath okay so bread is not a problem and then, and then eating at night as well is okay it, yeah. is it a general thing for ladies or just some category of ladies because some uh, eat at night and they don't have any tummy fat okay so Bread is not a problem. Okay. The kind of bread that you eat is the problem. I eat bread, albeit not the regular kinds of bread. When I have to eat bread, right? So white bread, what is your white bread made of? Flour. What kind of flour? Flour that has been stripped of the dietary fiber. So for instance, let's say you get um, um, whole wheat or whole oats. We are very familiar with oats. If I use whole oats to make bread, trust me, you cannot is, is eat... That a, uh, well, it's hard to tell. Hard to okay, tell that's right? a, you okay. can't eat four slices of bread, of whole oats bread, and not think that you're full. Meanwhile, you sit down with white bread and you can consume a whole white bread at a sitting. So it is in <laughs> what <laughs> is used... Yeah, I know people bread. like that. Yeah. So it I is what is like used that. in making the bread. So when you have meals that are rich in fiber, you get fuller for longer. And so you don't get hungry easily like you would normally have if you had gone for. So the, quest, so the thing is, fiber is very important when it comes to what we eat, right? It helps our entire digestive system. It keeps you fuller for longer. It gives you energy, right? Now, when it comes to eating late at night, I tell people that uh, if you are not going to carry blocks and bricks <laughs> in your sleep, <laughs> there is no point eating late at night. Because what I've happens when you eat late at night and you don't burn that energy is that you weigh your entire digestive system. Let's conceptualize it so that what is late? So late, mm. so let's assume you go to bed at 10. You should have your dinner latest by seven. Give yourself three hours for your body to do all the digestion. So that means you'll be eating in Lagos traffic. <laughs> Sorry? You'll be eating in Lagos traffic because yeah, yeah. most people get home eight past eight. So if you get home eight past eight, can you eat light? Because another problem is that you will get home late and then we eat heavy. For the to journey, make up for the no. big night journey. We'll make up for the trouble of no. Lagos. So I tell people, eat your heaviest meal in the afternoon. Okay. Right, so that at okay. night you eat light if you have to eat. You okay. eat light, maybe a cereal, maybe your oat cereal, something very light, something that your body does not need hours to digest. Don't get home at night and start eating beans. It takes on average four to five hours for your body to digest beans. And so that is why people wake up in the morning. I mean, you eat and then you wake up, you're feeling tired. I, I, I really feel that you're targeting some of us. Some of us. <laughs> you're attacking okay. some of us. If you're your fish is attacking you, please let us know. And of course, sending your questions. Everybody's, everybody's squirming on their chair. Everybody's like quiet. Like, don't like. look at me. Hashtag CTV Morning <laughs> If you've got questions for her, send them in. You can also <laughs> send it on WhatsApp. And it takes me to my next question. So it's well, time for breakfast for a lot of people. Yes. Uh, so they're thinking... Now that this lady has come now to Ooh. mess up my breakfast plans, <laughs> you know. I can't eat the kind of bread I want to eat anymore. You know. And uh, especially our producer that will not allow Akara to rest uh, around nine. So there you go. Yes. By the way, I know yeah. Akara is good. Yeah, <laughs> she's, there's, she's, she's there's saying nothing, thank you. There's nothing wrong with Akara. So, so, so give us. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm yeah. sure I'll be safe after the show. That's <laughs> so, Saturday, she has a WhatsApp message already. Maybe you'd yeah, like to. Take yeah, it. I, I will. I just wanted to ask if you can. Um, Give us the ideal uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The kind of meal it should be. Um, someone's probably planning to eat yam and eggs or what have you. Give us examples of ideal breakfast, lunch, and dinner so we can plan. Okay, so breakfast, lunch, lunch and dinner. So breakfast, eat light. 
lunch eat heavy right night eat light so your breakfast should be very light and i tell people and this is what i've been doing for the past eight years of course i have i have a journey i have a story for the past eight years i eat fruits every morning what, what's your story do you, do you want to... yes i don't mind sharing so um i'm a lady um my monthly uh, period comes with excruciating pains prior to starting this journey excruciating pains i mean i could be in this room rolling from one end of the room to the other that used to be my story anyone that went to school with me knows me mm -hmm. right and sometimes i could land at the health center just because i'm on my period and it was in 2016 i told myself i mean there's this verse of the Bible that I love so much, when God made everything, he saw that it was good, meaning that I was good, my health was good, everything about me was good. So this period that comes every month that leaves me incapacitated with mood swings, cranky feelings, this is not good. And I started reading and started doing research and I said, okay, let's even change certain things about my nutrition, what I eat, what I drink, and all of those things. and. I realized that I started doing that for months and my story started to change, right? So from eight days of bleeding, I noticed it was it started reducing, the pains reduced, I wasn't getting cranky, the you know the blood flow was easy, and I felt okay, if this is working then I have to continue. Of course, I had, you know, I had I had the backlash and all of that, but I was the one that was wearing the shoes. I knew where it was pinching me. And it's been eight years. Every, and, I, and this is something I've replicated, not just for myself, but with my clients. Right? So wake up every morning. The best thing you can do for yourself is to eat food that has not been cooked. So if you have to eat food that has been cooked, make sure it is light. Your cereals, I mean, our pops, our you know, corn cereal, all oats, you know, um, if you have um, almond flour, coconut flour, whatever, but just make sure it is light, right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever, you want to eat a bar, you want to eat beans, you want to eat rice, can you make that your lunch? Eat your heaviest meals in the afternoon, okay. then at night, just go light. Okay, we have messages on WhatsApp because we're running out of time, so okay. we need to read it so you can respond yeah. to it. Uh, good morning, team. Uh, TMB team, okay, good number of us eat full stomach because if we look at nutrition and what the body absorbs, we might not be able to afford it all. Uh, so you, <laughs> I don't know, you make comments on that. I think you, you spoke to that. Yeah. Yeah. that okay. On the health diet, my husband likes eating heavy food. Example, swallow, which I don't like. What can I do with this? So Your as a concerned wife. A concerned as a concerned wife. wife, swallow is not a problem, just like I said. So the question is, is he eating the swallow late in the night? If he's eating it late in the night, then that's a problem. But if he's eating it in the afternoon, that is not a problem. So, like I said earlier, our carbs, carbs is not a problem. Gary is good. Gary is healthy, right? Um, morning, afternoon, or night? No, I, I don't recommend you eat it in the morning, but it is healthy in and of itself. Okay. Right? You don't just, so the reason why we say don't eat every meal in the morning, so food is supposed to fuel your body. When you eat meals, and the next thing you want to do is to go and sleep, there is a problem. It's supposed to give you energy to carry so on your day. So is not like proper for the morning? So personally, from a nutrition angle, I would say eat that in the afternoon. But if you know if you have to eat that, so sometimes some people eat like, let's say, whole oats, or maybe they take pop in the morning, it's light. And maybe they've taken a full bowl, they still feel the need. I mean, maybe they're still hungry. By all means, please eat. Do you understand? Mm. What I'm saying, don't start your day dumping heavy meals on your body. Mm. You have another WhatsApp message. Um, is, they're asking, how do we identify mm. various types of bread? If you can do that in 30 seconds. Various types of bread, the ingredients. So the key thing you're looking at, you're looking at the type of flour that was used, and you're looking at the other ingredients. Refined sugar is also like another problem, right? So I think those are like the two major issues that we have with bread. Um, some people, I don't know now, I know there was a time bromate was banned. I don't know if bread sellers still do still use, still, yeah, it's still banned, but I think some people still use it. Then you see things like um, saccharin, right? So those are the issues. So it is in the ingre ingredients. So you, people would need to cultivate the habit of reading mm. ingredients before they buy things, because that really is where, you know, the education is 
if you look at the front of any product, is to attract you. And the calories. And the, yeah, well, I'm not even so much concerned about calories. Calories are, if you know how to calculate your calories, that is fine. But I am saying, if you eat wholesome meals, you'll find out that calories will not be your problem. Right. Because when you eat to your fill, there is a connection between your stomach and your brain. Your stomach will send signals to your brain to tell you it is enough. Then you know it is enough. So the problem is when we eat empty calorie foods, we just keep eating and eating and eating and eating. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, Chris from Accra actually asked that question as well as uh, can you state what food we can get fiber from? So don't worry, Chris, we're going to get you a uh, response to that question and, and send it across to you as well as other questions that okay. have come in. Apparently, because this is about food, Everybody's trying to finish this topic. And she, 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 no, should let she should let the table. <laughs> Absolutely. She should be the table. But you know, fantastic conversation, really uh, enlightening. And I'm glad that we had this so I can approach my day in a better way. So I hope we can have you again. Sure. So, so we'll have the meal. So can I have a meal? We can also have yeah. a meal kit for university students. Yeah, uh, sure. Mm -hmm. I found melon draw there. Just don't worry about that. <laughs> it is, that is just... <laughs> Oh, we have to thank you so much. A very expensive student in your school days. No, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. We have to thank you so much, Clearly, A very interesting conversation. I did recall to share a nutrition and health coach, mm -hmm. uh, FD Naturals. A lot of you might know her from her work. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so and much. And please watch Nigeria's final game. All right, I'll try. Try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you, guys. It's been an amazing day. And, uh, well, I'm still excited. I'm still super excited for what happened yesterday with the Super yeah. Bowl. So, but let's hope that uh, by uh, when well, on Sunday, February the 11th, we're going to have even more reasons to celebrate as a country. I want to thank you so much for your time and company. I'm Jeffrey Uzoma. Thank you so much for being part of the program today. We'll be back again tomorrow. I am Bukola Koka. And I'm Kyle Dokikulu. It's time to grab my banana. Goodbye. <laughs>